Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of uh, Canada Life. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, generally lawn care, yard care. Um, so if you're if you're living in an apartment or a flat, uh, you don't have to, to deal with this right away. But if you're living in a house or in a townhouse or, or even a townhome which has some kind of grass, uh, a yard, backyard, front yard, chances are you're gonna have to uh, uh, take care of that uh, grass and and if you don't uh, you know uh, either you will get uh, citations from city to 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 maintain your uh, uh, yard in the front of the house and just generally you know everybody around the neighborhood takes care of uh, you know how the the houses look the the you know the, the landscape it and then for people who have a little bit of uh, uh, green thumb who like gardening this kind of stuff this is an opportunity to uh, be creative, uh, make some, you know, make something uh, to your liking in terms of flowers, uh, perennials, that kind of stuff. Uh, but at a bare minimum, you would have to take care of uh, uh, the yard. So, so today's episode, we're going to be talking about just lawn care in 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 in, in general. Uh, we're not going to go into a lot of details on how to do it and what things you need to do, different techniques of uh, how to take care of the lawn, but just general stuff so that you're aware uh, what to expect and at a bare minimum, what kind of tools you need. I'll also show you uh, my lawn care equipment. Uh, I'll just give you a little bit of idea of uh, some of the things I've learned through experience. So let's get into it. Uh, th you know, there are a few options uh, in terms of taking care of uh, your, your lawn or your, your backyard, front yard. One is you can completely outsource this work to landscaping companies. Um, I think, you know, that could be a cost anywhere from thousand dollars to fifteen hundred a year uh, depends on how big your yard is and and how complicated it is and what what are things in, in in the yard the other option is to do it all yourself uh, which means cutting the lawn yourself uh, making sure the soil's there you put in the seed whenever it's needed uh, and then the third option is kind of in the middle you know which is kind of kind of what I have is I cut the grass myself but uh, fertilizing it, putting you know uh, weed killers, uh, some kind of aeration maintenance work. I've outsourced that part to a company, and for me, uh, you know that that costs about you know in 2021. I mean, prices always change, but it costs about roughly $500 for a year. So you know when you can do the math, you can see what makes sense for you, what your uh, preferences are, what you're comfortable with, and. You know, you can, you can uh, start either with completely outsourcing, go to a hybrid model and then do it all yourself. Just depends on what you're comfortable with. All right, so I'm standing in my uh, garage here. This is where I keep uh, all my tools. Before we get into what kind of uh, lawnmower and equipment you need, just generally today there are a few options in terms of what kind of equipment, uh, what kind of lawnmower you can get. You can get a manual on mower you know we push it with hands pretty you know simple if you have a small yard that's the best for you uh, if you uh, are not comfortable with using gas don't want the hassle of filling up uh, a lawn mower with gas go for electric you know in electric today you can get really good uh, very light low cost you know electric battery power lawn mowers for 200 250 dollars kind of range uh, if you have uh, good connections around your uh, front yard, backyard for electricity outlets, you can go for an electric lawn mower, which is also which can be connected with a cord. A great option for a lot of people, uh, but you have to manage the, the the cord, and it's I don't like that personally, but a lot of people use it. And then you know the next level or the next option is you know gas powered or petrol powered uh, that you can fill up. Uh, those tend to be heavy, more expensive, require a little bit more maintenance, a lot of moving parts, um, but that's predominantly what people use. Uh, as technology kind of uh, improves on the battery, I think more and more people will switch to electric. You know, three, four years down the road, if I have to replace my lawnmower, that's probably what I'm going to get is an electric battery powered lawnmower. Last option, I want to mention this, for those of you who have a lot of uh, area to cover, there are uh, uh, tractor-based uh, lawn mowers where you can sit in with a steering wheel and just go uh, cut your lawn on a, on a tractor. But those are very you know, few 
mostly for people who live on the countryside they have a lot of uh, acreage a lot of area and that's what they use so now let's go i'll give you a quick view of uh, what i have so this is the lawn mower i have it's gas powered i bought it about three four years ago um, one of the reasons I bought it is there is a little bit of an incline on my uh, yard so I, I bought one which is front wheel drive it helps me push it up the hill also in all these lawn mowers that uh, you know you will see there are options to adjust the height by uh, how tall or how low you want to cut the grass um, make sure you go for something which is easy to adjust in terms of height uh, other than that it's pretty good uh, product you know a nozzle here for filling up the the gas and this is where you put in the oil you know maybe uh, once every couple of years I put in you know some oil as the engine burns some oil and also have this uh, gas canister to fill up the gas from the gas station all right so what do you do once you have uh, any of the leaves and things that you know you want to get rid of um, you have to put them in a compostable bag like this uh, every couple of weeks uh, the city employees come and take it away so that's something you would buy i think five bags you can get for three dollars in, in any hardware store uh, one of the other things that you will need is something like this uh, pretty basic i think cost about 50 bucks it's called weed whacker or hedge trimmer just to get uh, rid of those uh, areas where the grass is tall and you cannot get to it from uh, from a lawn mower and then a couple of the things that you might need uh, i have a, a rake here uh, you know just there are some leaves that are falling uh, in your backyard this is what i use to rake in the leaves rather than um, taking uh, stuff off the ground uh, by myself and then last but not least you know i use um, you know uh, this this is a weed killer application i tried a few but this works better for me i go through one of these uh, bottles a year and and i get it from lowe's uh, it's pretty effective against you know stuff that's growing in between the tiles and patio that you know usually you know you you can get to it through through weed whacker and this is all you can use so uh, i would recommend you know you get familiar and comfortable with uh, using those so so that's that's about it that's uh, that's everything uh, that at a minimum you would need eventually you would figure out what you need over the years um, be comfortable with what you're using try it out uh, and just overall, you know, just uh, enjoy the experience. So a lot of people who come to uh, Canada, you know, probably have not uh, done this kind of work. And, you know, there's a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of uh, anxiety and, and lack of knowledge. Uh, I, and I can speak from my personal experience, right? Initially, you know, I, I, I did not have a lot of experience. So somebody at work was kind enough to show me uh, how to operate a lawnmower what to, to think about, a lot of things to do, uh, and, and, and how to do, you know, just basic maintenance work. So if, if some of you, you know, are doing it for first time and feel embarrassed or, or anxiety, I want to put your mind to rest, you would see your uh, neighbors, you know, mowing the lawn themselves, uh, cutting the lawn, uh, maintaining it, so there's no need to be embarrassed or, or feel shy about it. Uh, and. And once you do it, I think uh, you might uh, actually uh, enjoy it.